Good morning, water crossing. Good morning, feet. I said, Good morning, feet. <laughs> Good morning, day 26. We're on the move, 7 a.m., and we are going at least 11 miles today. Let's see how we feel. <clears throat> I'd like to go further, but there's no actual campground listed until 19 miles. So I don't know, but we'll see. And it's cooler today, which is a blessing because we have a lot of climbing to do. Um, so that'll help with that. And we have a ton of water crossings to do again today. So feet are gonna be cold. <coughs> We're also headed into um, below freezing temperatures at night for the next week, <laughs> which is awesome because the air mattress that I brought to help with that is flat, so it's not going to help with that at all, and I find that really funny. God's sense of humor is amazing. <laughs> anyway. We'll see how we get on today. Hopefully the climb's not too bad. And the multitude of water crossings begins. Oh. I have cold, wet feet all day. <laughs> and then it's supposed to freeze tonight. So that'll be fun for our shoes. Oh, jeez. So many of these crossings are pointless, too, but... Oh. Yeah, I would go that way. Yeah. Every single time your feet start to dry out, you hit another one. <laughs> it's been actually a pretty lovely day so far. It's cooler than the last few days. The trail's been kind of cool, windy, gradually going up. Nothing too crazy yet. Lots of water crossings though. This is the fun of the day. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that looks 
Steve. Well, it's 10 o'clock and it is hotter than it was supposed to be today. Oh, we had like three hours of cool, but yeah, definitely warmer than it was supposed to be. Now, the, nether, the weather network lied. <laughs> we think they're in cahoots at the PCTA. <laughs> So we just crossed another little stream and dunked our buffs and we continue on. <laughs> We're entering the San Gorgonia wilderness. Well, I'm at the front of our pack again. Or took Barb a little while ago. Feeling really good today. My spirits are high. My body is just going. Feeling super good. I love days like this where my body's just feeling good and I can go fast and enjoy it and yeah it's been a lot of climbing especially this last half of the day <coughs> and uh, I can feel really good I'm really impressed with how my body's handling today so yeah 
There's days when my leg feels like lead and there's days where they just want to fly and today is a flying kind of day and I love it. I love feeling how fast I can go and just, you know, showing myself my own progress. I really enjoy that. Anyway, got another little hill here coming, so I'll turn this off. But no, I'm having a wonderful day in the Mission Creek Big Bear area. It's fantastic. I'm about a mile from camp. <coughs> and I stopped to take a break at a creek. I was there for, I don't know, half an hour. And I lost my climbing mojo. <laughs> I did that. Or this mile is just significantly steeper. But yeah. It's taken a lot more effort to get up than prior to taking that break. Uh, but <coughs> I only have a mile to go, so and I was gonna continue on I think, but I took a look and there's no good places to camp and there's no water after this campsite so <coughs> and I know Barb and or hot mess and ketchup are kind of at the end of their energy for the day they're behind me so I'll probably get to camp first and uh, anyway yeah I'm just gonna bang out this last mile best I can and Get to camp. wanted to give my opinion or assessment of Mission Creek uh, a few years back I think it was 2019 um, some of the trail got washed away and after that people uh, said it took a really long time to get through and was really hard to navigate your way through you know to be on and off the trail and try and find it again from the washouts and I noticed last year was the first year no youtubers really complained about that area and I can see why um, I think there's been enough traffic through there now that the new path through is pretty clear you know, I, did, I didn't find it a challenge to get through there at all um, if you're following the path and following Karen's, it was actually pretty easy. So, yeah, that's my opinion. I think it's no longer a problem area. We're just setting up camp here at Mission Creek Camp. And the clouds are rolling in. Uh, it could be a cold be night. Cold. That's really cool. It's going to be a cold night, though. Fog's still kind of just drifting over us. Which is good. Otherwise it could be cold tonight. It's pretty it is cold here at Mission Creek Camp. Um, now that the sun is going down, the wind is freezing. I think it's going to be a very cold night. <coughs> so I'm probably going to sleep with all of my layers on because I have them all on and I'm already cold. And... Um, yeah, I'm very concerned about my air mattress. I think it's going to be a cold night, so uh, hopefully I get some sleep. Hopefully I don't get too cold. Um, we have an ambitious new plan. Um, there are lots of exits 
off of Big Bear or off the mountain into Big Bear. <coughs> but the further we can go now, the less our next carry is going to be. And we have reservations at Kenny's place on Wednesday. Today is Monday. <coughs> Initially, we were going to get off at Onyx Summit, but that's only 12 miles away. We definitely can go further than that in the next two days. So our new plan is to go 16.3 miles tomorrow and then 10 miles the next day to the interstate where uh, Kenny can pick us up. So yeah, that is our plan. Um, I think we can do it. The elevation profile doesn't look too bad. Um, we've heard reports that there's only one mile of snow left on the trail, so if we hit that early in the morning, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, we did 11 miles today, and we were here, well, I was here by three. <coughs> so, I think we can do it. It's, uh, closing in on 6.30, and so I'm just going to do my nighttime stuff in my tent, we're getting up, like I said, we're gonna be on the move for seven. We've got a big day, so I'm gonna to go to bed early, I think, and hopefully I don't freeze. <laughs> I'm, I'm really hoping I get some sleep tonight because we do have a big day tomorrow, so some sleep will be good, but yeah, that will depend on my air mattress and how cold it gets. <laughs> so wish me luck. All right, good night, everybody. Bye.